Hello everyone, this is Will with Hook and Push Gaming, and today we have a Gruel Aggro deck in Historic, as, as promised from my last video. Well, I didn't promise, but I said if I got it to a good place, and I did, and a cat's meowing at me, but we will keep going. I've, I've been futzing with this deck for quite a while now. I This variant finally got me from Diamond 3 to Diamond 2, so I figured this is a good place for it to be. So we will go over the deck now. Okay. Four Pelt Collector, great one drop. Keeps getting bigger as the deck goes on into its bigger creatures. And when it gets big enough, it has Trample. Pretty great. Robber the Rich. Re the, the Reach is handy sometimes. Haste is always important, and it does, or it can deal with some of their potential top decking threats over there because we will often have fewer cards than our opponent in hand so it'll it'll set that off pretty often four copies of burning tree emissary i don't think i can understate how good this card is because as you can see we've got a lot of two drops and that's i don't think that's even counting the uh stomps of bone crusher giant so being able to play two two drops on turn two is pretty incredible. And then if you have you know more than one of those, that's even better. And honestly, if you don't have anything else in your hand, Grizzly Bears isn't terrible. So that's Burning Tree Emissary. Three copies of Galia the Endless Dance. I was at two, but I think three is the, is the better call because I like it so much. As I said in my previous Gruel Aggro deck, the standard version, I love how well it gets along with Annex and all the Seder tokens it creates. And that card draw is nice. Even if there is something like a Rekindling Phoenix or an Ember Cleave in my hand, unless I want to play Ember Cleave right then and there, I'm usually okay with discarding that to get that kind of card advantage. Two copies of Zerta Goblin, not a great card. But having the option to have another 2-2 two -two with haste or a 3-3 is decent versatility. And this deck needed more 2-drops. It was playing sl a bit slow at times, so adding a couple more 2-drops made a big difference. Three copies of Annex for some protection against spot removal and sweepers. And also this thing can get absolutely enormous with all of the, the reds, especially Burning Tree Emissary, Rekindling Phoenix... And as I've said in a couple videos now, putting Ember Cleave on Annex is a great feeling. Four copies of Bone Crusher Giant. You've got some spot removal. And if you don't and if you don't have anywhere else to put it, you can just stick two to the face with Stomp. And a 4-3 that they're not gonna want to target is nice. Two copies of Domri, two copies of Domri Anarch of Bolas. I might up this to three, but for now, two is fine. You can generate some mana with it. The big part of it is the power boost to all your creatures and also having a repeatable fight ability to get some removal that more removal that way is very nice. Rekindling Phoenix is a great card. It's actually a great blocker, I've noticed, that... If they have some big, stupid creature that we can't get rid of and I can't kill, leaving one of those up to just block it over and over again, especially if it doesn't have trample, is a great way to discourage them from attacking or to nullify their attacks. But also it's a big 4-3 flyer, so it's a great on the attack as well. And it's not super worried about removal because you basically need two cards to get rid of it for good unless you have an exile effect. So, Rekindling Phoenix. Three copies of Questing Beast. You know, it's the, the phone book of, of rules text there. It's got just about everything you would want a card to do. Great way to deal with Planeswalkers. Great way to get damage in quickly that they can't do much about, especially if they're a low-to-the-ground aggro deck. And the Death Touch is amazing. The Vigilance is amazing. It's a good card. Three copies of Ember Cleave. Great finisher to the deck. It's It gets a little slowed down by Teferi, but often those 
decks that run Teferi can get run over before it comes to Ember Cleave anyway. Two copies of Castle Embereth for the power boost to either stack with Domri or if Domri's not there. And I actually had a bit of a hard time figuring out the historic mana base because, I mean, in standard it would just be four stomping ground, four fa fabled passages, and you call it a day. I was running four fabled passages, but that just led to too many early tapped lands. So I was thinking like, oh, well, this deck is mostly creature spells. Why don't I run four ancient ziggurats? And that didn't feel good either because it's a bad feeling when you have Domri, Embercleave, Stomp, and you can't play it because you have three ancient ziggurats in play. So I think I've struck the balance. Two Fabled Passage, two ancient ziggurats, and five mountains and forests, four rootbound crags, four stomping grounds, and that being the mana base. Haven't had any mana problems with this since I figured that out. And this is the deck. So, without further ado, let us do some historic ranked. And here we go with Ferrante. And I think we can keep this. Got a lot of things to do at two mana here. And Rekindling Phoenix to come later. Bobby is so talkative today. Hi, Bobby. Hi, Bob. Okay. Here we go. Let's say hello. If I can. <laughs> All right. So Temple of Silence for them. Play Stomping Grounds. Stomping Ground tapped. Okay, Bajuka Bog. All right, let's go Robber the Rich. Swing in. Okay, that's a good feeling. Let's drop Annex right now. And take Kaya from them. Okay, so is this some sort of Orzov control deck? Okay, Isolated Chapel tapped. And let's, hmm. I think, I think I know what I'm going to do here. Unless they kill something, which they might. If they're holding on to something. Okay. Yeah, that figures. There it is. Well, I still got the... Seder token. Let's go Galia. Then hold that up for a special occasion. Got the puppet Jace over here. He did not appreciate that. Okay, got the murderous rider. All right, stomp to the face. Let's go... Not like... Mm, yeah, no, let's not do that. Okay, take an Ashiok. We will decline. All right. Ember Cleave on the robber. Okay, so that takes them to three. Okay, they could have Kaya's Wrath here, or they can scoop. That's also an option they have. Good game, Ferrante. And here we go. Gruel aggro, everybody. <laughs> All right. Another game. Colonel Forbin, 41. Or Colonel Forbin. 
Ooh. Yeah, just those lands. That's not where we want to be. This is much better. Yes. Yeah. Drop an Ember Cleave. Pay two life. <laughs> I've messed that up on more than one occasion and accidentally hit Enters Tapped. Okay. Yep, I had a hunch it'd be mono white. Okay, here we go. Emissary. Into Galia. Swing for four. Pass the turn. They gain a life. Those Sarah sleeves are pretty cool. Dawn of Hope. Okay. So, I think I will do the discard to draw two cards here. Let's put Ember Cleave on Pelt Collector. Thanks. They're to seven or eight now because they gain Fountain Renewal. Really? Wow. Oh, well, huh. Okay. Soul Warden. All right. Wow. Good game. That's a... Uh, <laughs> man. Yeah, like I said before, when this deck wins, it wins fast. And it's gotten even faster by adding more two drops. Okay. Got a four of on that already. Let's play again. Pixel Corb. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I can totally work with this. I will play that tapped this time. Hello, they're running a Kahira deck. Of course, with the new companion rules, that's been slowed down significantly what it is that you can do with that. Play the Crag. Play a Robber. Swing in for two. Take the top card there. Take Galta. Oh, that does work with dinosaurs. Okay, so this is probably Gruel or Naya or Jund dinosaurs. Okay, got one of those. Let's go Pelt Collector and swing in. Rampaging Ferocidon. Remember when that card was banned in Standard? What a time. What a time to be alive. Okay. Stomp the Raptor. And I've got a 2-2 Pelt Collector now. How cool is that? All right. Okay, Jun Dinosaurs, so, yep, right on schedule, we got Rotting Regisar. Um, let's, let's play the Giant. Pass the turn. Now this is where Phoenix will come in handy, both as a blocker and as something that can fly over. Okay, Ferocidon. Huh. Okay, great. There's the Phoenix. Ah, that's okay. Pass the turn. Another one. Another one. They take some damage from that. And they scoop. Huh. Wow. Okay. <laughs> K 
Can't say I was expecting that, but here we are. Let's play let's play let's play one or two more. Hi Bobby. My cat Bob is so cute. He's so good. He always wants to talk to me when I'm doing things. He just wants to be a part of it. He doesn't know what I'm doing. He doesn't care. All right, we've got Action Jake. Um, huh. Well. Uh. <laughs> Let's keep. Let's just see what happens. Not going first. Play another Kahira deck. Song creation sleeves. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll do that. Yeah. Here we go. We got a plan here. This works for me. Great. Just having Ancient Ziggurat and Fabled Passage was making me a little nervous as to what place I could even make with this deck right now. Okay, so we're... Abzan. Heartless Act. Fair enough. Wow. These just keep coming. It's like I have four of them in the deck. But I've seen three of them already. It's crazy. All right. Yeah, this, this deck gets pretty relentless. There's the Triome. Agonizing Remorse. Huh, are they going to take out the Ember Cleave or the Questing Beast? Taking out Ember Cleave. Cool. They probably have an answer for the Questing Beast then. Although probably not right here. There we go. Swing in for a quick six. Vivian. Yeah. Okay. Get that Beast token in there. Let's play that tapped, play a pelt collector, play a robber. And let's just swing in. As Mary was saying in that other video, we're aggro. So let's be aggro. Ooh, taking out their ECD. All right. Okay, they could. Okay, Garrick. Make some make some wolfy wolves. And a beastie. Okay. I think we need to shuffle things up a bit here to keep drawing a lot of lands. Let's thin out the deck a bit. Let's go. Let's swing in. Okay, uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. And let's ECD their Garrick so they don't set off that ultimate. All right. And they're going to ECD my questing beast probably. Yep, there it is. And make a beastie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Pass the turn. Okay, yeah. Pull in their Kahira. Well, all I've got is Robbers of the Rich in there. But, okay, wow, yeah. Nice. Okay, so a, a stomp would be really nice here. Hey, she said stomp and I said stomp. I'll just go ahead and take that. Right on schedule. And... Good game, Action Jake. Whew. 
Whew. So as you can see, this deck does work. Man. And that's my, uh, that's my dailies for today. I was getting a bunch of wins, but it was kind of fluctuating until I kind of leveled it off here. So like I said, needed a little brewing, but I think, I think this might be the one. So yeah, here's the deck. Here's the mana base. Spent a couple wild cards on Ancient Ziggurat and a couple on uh, Burning Tree Emissary. Had the Rekindling Phoenixes already, but the Burning Tree Emissaries, 100% worth it. Ancient Ziggurats, pretty good. If you've got the Fabled Passages, they do fine. Or if you just want to have them be a couple more of these basics, that's good too. This is the deck. Been thinking about replacing Zertog Goblin with uh, Domri's Ambush. But, you know, this deck does have a decent amount of spot removal already. So if I were to change something, that is what I would change. Let's drop the Zertog Goblin for Domri's Ambush. But that's the deck. And as you see, did a quick 4-0 there, except for maybe that last game. And that's, that's all for me. So if you liked what you saw here, you want to see more of it, please like the video, please subscribe to my channel, leave, leave a comment down in the comment section, tell me what you thought of the video, tell me what kind of content you would like to see here, and share it with your friends. So they can see it too. And thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you all later.